one of the activities that I generally like to demonstrate whenever we'll bring allied professionals in to learn a bit more about vision therapy is some sort of activities related to peripheral awareness. It does, however, often end up seeming a little abstract, and sometimes it's kind of tricky to get people to understand the concepts of, say, a peripheral awareness card or looking soft. And so one of the new features with neurovisual trainer that we really enjoy and uh, seems to make it a lot, the concept a lot easier for patients is uh, their peripheral awareness activity. So I'll show you what we're, you know, what I'm referencing here. So inside this particular, uh, you know, inside the exercises, there's a, kind of a new activity here called a peripheral chart. And we've all seen these peripheral awareness cards, but one of the really nice elements here is there are a variety of different ways that you can set it up. So you can have a circle of letters, you can have a traditional kind of McDonald's card, you can do a diamond or rectangle. I'll kind of start with a circle here and you can have it set up. I'll show you initially the way that you have it, which is kind of your traditional, um, you're going to be looking at this particular central focus and you're going to use your peripheral vision to tap the letter uh, that matches the one here in the middle. So you can see we've got this out here. I'm cheating a little bit, but <laughs> you'll kind of have them move around and tap the letter that's going to be matching that central focus there. So it gives them a little bit of context of what they're trying to look for. Um, and it gives them, um, you know, they'll get a sense of if they're doing it properly or accurately. So this is the focus feature that you can utilize. What I really love uh, as well is you can also take a look at um, the select flashing feature. So in this particular case, uh, you can see here, this is I kind of, we like this as a starting point is you'll have patients looking at the center point and you're going to get them to click the letter that's flashing. So this kind of puts them, uh, I find it's a little bit of a nice entry point for building peripheral awareness, working on breathing, posture, and you're going to have them click the, um, the letter that, uh, you know, that is, um, that is moving there. Now, if they have a touch screen, you can also touch it. Or if you have one in office, you can utilize that as well. So I find that that's a really nice starting point. Um, and then you can also, as we saw, you can do the focus where you're going to be matching what's in the center. You can do no interaction as well. And as we mentioned, there's a ton of different ways that you can set up the, um, the peripheral card. So I'll kind of show you here. Um, so, you know, just a different sort of array, a different sort of arrangement. And so you can play around with it in office. So we found this is helpful at, uh, you know, getting patients engaged with the process. Um, and I think kind of one of the, uh, one of the nice benefits of it is you can watch them perform it in office. You tend to get a little bit more feedback than when we just hand them a tactile card, because again, they sort of know what they're looking for. They can see that flash and then they can do the matching activities. So I just find contextually, it's a really helpful way to get people understanding how to, uh, to look soft.